Hey guys, I've been working on this food delivery application recently and we have ended up working a lot with uh, Google Maps API. Like we've explored a ton of the different uh, APIs available under the Google Maps uh, API library. And there were a very few particular APIs which were very interesting to work with, especially the Roots API. So basically we were, we are creating an application which will track the delivery rider in real time. I mean, in near real time, it will be updated every three to five seconds and it will show the person who has ordered uh, where they are and uh, how much time uh, estimate uh, is left until they reach to their doorstep. So. Um, I cannot show the entire tutorial uh, on how to create something like that because it's very complex, hundreds and hundreds of lines of codes. But I can show you how you can create a route between two different points on a Google map uh, using the Roots API. So first of all, if you do not have uh, a Google Cloud account, you need to go on console.cloud.google.com slash APIs I mean if you just go over here it's gonna ask you to enable billing and create a new project once you've done that inside your new project click on the left hand bar click on APIs and services and click on library over here search for the root API sorry roots with an S so click on roots API and uh, you will see that for you it will show a button called enable click on that and once it's enabled, go back to enabled APIs and services and make sure that this API has been activated. So I can see over here that the roots API has been activated. And the next thing is we're going to create a credential. So go on credentials. On the top, click on create credentials. And after you create a credential, click on edit API key and then uh, restricted so on the bottom once you click on edit API key uh, on the bottom left over here there will be a place where you can select multiple API's from a drop-down multiple enabled API's so select the roots API and select maps JavaScript API so if you do not have maps JavaScript API enabled by default use the same process I showed you and enable maps JavaScript API good once you have the APIs enabled and the API key ready, we are ready to write some code. So I'm gonna make a very basic uh, example, okay? And then I'm gonna explain later on how you can enhance on this. So basically, we're gonna create a route between two different points. So I have two different Wix address input elements which you can add by using add elements, go to input and then address input okay so two different one is the origin one is the destination and then a button to find the best route and over here you have an HTML component I will show you in a moment what the code in the HTML component is because after we process uh, we click the button the page has to post the data to the HTML component in order to display the map before that we have an event handler on the button so click on the button on the right hand side create an on click event handler and this is the object that we need to construct so under the object you have two main uh, sub, uh, nested objects uh, one is origin one is destination and basically they contain the latitude and longitude which we will get from the address input elements which Wix has and another one is travel mode so we're gonna use drive Routing preference, traffic aware, which means it's going to take traffic into consideration uh, when making the route and also giving a prediction of the time it will take to arrive. Uh, you, compute alternative routes is basically uh, Google Maps can give you multiple routes, just as you might see in your Google Maps app when you try to find the direction to some place, uh, it usually comes up with multiple routes and tells you which is the best one. So that's that's exactly what it does it's gonna come up with multiple routes with different travel times but right now we've set it to false so it's just gonna show us one route and then route modifiers if you want to avoid tolls avoid highways avoid 
ferries there's a lot more you can check out google maps uh, routes api uh, documentation for the full knowledge and then we once we construct this object uh, we call this function from our backend called get root which is in our roots.gsw file so backend roots.gsw file again insert your api key here simple fetch call this is a simple basic fetch call to roots.googleapis.com slash directions version 2 compute roots within capital r post and then make sure to have uh, the authorization key under x goog api key like this and make sure to have this field uh, as well in the body we send the object that we constructed stringified and we wait for the response once the response arrives we will look for an encoded polyline so basically roots might end uh, roots returns an array of objects we want the first one for this example and we will look under the polyline object to find a variable called encoded polyline we need this to draw the root on the map and then the time for this exact uh, root so that we can show the user how much time is left now the time will always be in seconds you are free to convert it into minutes hours however you uh, suit it's uh, pretty basic how to convert uh, seconds to minutes using javascript you can google and pretty sure stack overflow is filled with examples and then we create the ma markers so markers should be lat and lng uh, two objects uh, under an array which comes from address input one and address input two and once everything is ready so the markers the polyline and the time it takes uh, we're gonna post this to the html component and this is what the html component looks like very basic no fancy css over here just for the example so we have the head uh, and under the head we have style for the map and the body and uh, we have a body under the body we have script uh, script which is the most important piece of this code uh, so basically uh, we initiate the function called uh, init we call the function init uh, via a script uh, at the bottom of the page uh, so the callback is the function init and you enter your key over here so make sure you enter your key right over here uh, just beside key is equal to okay uh, and before the and symbol so uh, let me explain you what this code does so uh, we are collecting the locations which comes under the markers object from the page we are collecting the time which again comes from the page every all the data that you send is under event dot data okay and uh, over here we are uh, constructing a info window so that we can show the time that it will take for travel when the user clicks on the route and the rest of it is just constructing the map so we initiate the map over here we do not give it a center uh, or a zoom uh, this is not really needed uh, because we will be using bounds so we will use uh, the bound lat and latitude longitude bounds function from google maps in order to uh, set the zoom uh, of the map and the position of the map uh, on load and uh, this is the marker so the you can you can customize whatever marker will show up for your two places origin and uh, origin and destination and uh, basically over here we translate the polyline so the encoded polyline we translate so that uh, it can show up on the map as a root so you can play around with the color of the root so i've put a google maps brand blue color over here with a stroke opacity of one which is 100 percent opacity and a stroke weight of six which is quite thick but if you zoom in it's gonna thin out and um, this is an event listener so this is for whenever someone clicks on the route if you want to add an info card for the markers you can do so for the markers as well but this one is for the routes uh, for the polyline and what it's going to show is travel time and whatever time is sent by the 
uh, website page to this HTML component. It's in seconds, but feel free to convert it before sending it to the HTML component. Okay, so this is just you copy paste it on the HTML component over here, edit code, uh, copy paste, and then let's go ahead and try this out. So um, let's say Miami International Airport and let's go to Ball Harbor. Friend lives in Ball Harbor, known her for years, never been there though. Okay, click on find best routes and there you go. So Miami International Airport, when I click on the event, uh, sorry, on the marker, nothing happens, Ball Harbor nothing happens but when i click on the route you can see the travel time 2722 seconds so you can translate this into minutes using javascript as i said and show uh, the and this is a this is html based this box is html based uh, apart from the white background and the uh, close sign so you can get you can get uh, fancy with some little uh, css and uh, decorate it so uh, yeah, this is how you uh, create a route using Google Maps. So I, one of the examples is you can get the user's location and uh, show them a route towards your office uh, for your on your website. And uh, yeah, you can also use this. Uh, obviously, you can use this on a tracking application if you ever make one. Basically, what we are doing is uh, over here we just uh, uh, enter the address both the address and find the route but in our application we know one of the address and the other address we fetch it uh, from the device of the uh, so there's another application which the driver will have so we fetch the device's location every few seconds and we just update the user's user interface with new coordinates and uh, the icon as i said is you can change it so the destination icon we give it uh, a home or whatever it is based on the re address if it's a corporate delivery address or residential delivery address and uh, for the driver based on if they are two wheel uh, two uh, wheel vehicle or uh, four wheel vehicle we display an icon accordingly so this is how you display a route between two different points on google maps on your wix website